Good fellow evening. Name belong me, Matthew Varley, Commissioner, Blow Royal Solomon Islands Police Force. After the election of the Prime Minister today, certain members of our community decided to take matters into their own hands and march through the streets of our capital city here in Honiara. Those marches were illegal and police are now investigating the incidents with a view to arresting those responsible. As of five o'clock this afternoon, police have arrested 30 people uh, and we expect more arrests to follow. Three officers, two RSIPF officers and one corrections officer sustained injuries and have now sought medical treatment at the hospital. To stop further marches or gatherings in our city tonight, um, the RSIPF is calling on all the good citizens of Honiara and Guadalcanal to stay home, to stay away from the city tonight and to stay out of trouble and do not come out onto the streets unless it is extremely necessary. I have ordered a large police operation to take place tonight and the RSIPF will be conducting more high visibility police patrols across the city all night and we'll be looking for anyone who is out to cause trouble and they'll be searched and dealt with. I've also ordered the members of our police response team, PRT and our riot squads to take stern and swift action against anyone who would come out to do illegal activity. I've also ordered a large number of roadblocks to be put in place and checkpoints to reduce traffic coming into the city. This might be seen as a restriction on people's freedom of movement, but I'm concerned for the safety of the public and I'm concerned to make sure that we do everything we can to ensure this community is safe tonight and so the RSIPF will not be taking any chances. If you are a law-abiding citizen of Honiara, there is nothing to fear. As I said, we're asking you to stay home and to look after your families tonight. Our PRT officers and our riot squads have been ordered to take action against anyone who is out to cause illegal action, and we're ready to deal with those offenders sternly. For the rest of the community, I ask you to stay home, to look after your families tonight, and to be assured that the police are taking this situation seriously, are on top of the situation, and a lot of police will be out on the streets to keep you safe tonight. And once again, I call on all responsible citizens, chiefs, leaders in our community and our youth to take the outcome of the Prime Minister's election with a good heart and not allow these political issues to cause division amongst our communities. Let's refrain from any further violence on the streets of our city. It will only destroy our families, our communities and our country that we work so hard to build. We need peace, not violence, and I ask for your support throughout the next 24 hours. Thank you, Tomas.